Welcome to our show, I'm Nostalgic Nick. Today, we're exploring the life of Sophia Loren, a renowned Hollywood actress known for her striking beauty and elegant demeanor. Despite her fame and success, Sophia remains down to earth, crediting much of her success to the hard work and support of her single mother. Born and raised in impoverished countryside of Italy, Sophia's rise to stardom is a fascinating journey. She is not only a talented actress who won awards for playing salt of the earth women, but also a fashion icon who started the cat eye makeup trend. Sophia has always been comfortable in her skin, never shying away from her flaws. When cameraman once suggested plastic surgery on her nose, she famously declined, saying no, 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 they simply had to learn how to shoot my face without creating unflattering shadows. Join us as we delve deeper into Sophia Loren's life and career and discover the secrets behind her commanding presence and enduring success. Sophia Loren, born Sophia Villani Siccolone on September 20th, 1934 in Rome, Italy, had a humble beginning. She was largely raised by her single mother in her grandparents' home near Naples, where they faced numerous challenges amidst World War II. Despite these hardships, Sophia's strength and resilience shone through. When she was just a year old, a shrapnel injury from an air raid left a permanent scar on her chin, which she would later embrace as a part of her unique beauty. Growing up, Sophia and her mother lived in poverty, often relying on the generosity of relatives. Despite these circumstances, Sophia's mother encouraged her to pursue her dreams of becoming an actress. At the age of 14, Sophia began entering beauty pageants, and it was during one of these competitions that she was discovered by film producer Carlo Pani. Throughout her early life, Sophia faced numerous challenges and hardships, but she never let them hold her back. With the support of her mother and the opportunities presented to her, Sophia was able to overcome these obstacles and begin her journey to becoming one of the most celebrated actresses of all time. Sophia Loren, born as Sophia Villani Siccolone, began her journey in the entertainment industry at the age of 16 when she entered a beauty contest in Rome. Her natural grace and elegance earned her the title of Miss Elegance 1950. This victory opened doors for her in the modeling world, and she started securing small jobs as a model. Her exposure in the beauty contest also caught the attention of film directors and producers who were impressed by her striking beauty and poise. This led to her securing small, uncredited film roles, which marked the beginning of her illustrious career in the movie industry. These early roles allowed her to gain experience and familiarity with the filmmaking process, and they served as a stepping stone for her future success. In these initial stages of her career, Sophia Loren was still honing her craft and learning the ins and outs of the industry. Despite the small and uncredited nature of these roles, they were invaluable in providing her with the opportunity to work with established professionals and to develop her skills as an actress. These experiences laid the groundwork for her to become one of the most celebrated and respected figures in the world of cinema. Sophia Loren's career began to take off in the mid-1950s with the help of film producer Carlo Pani. Pani played a significant role in shaping Loren's public persona and securing more prominent roles for her. During this period, she adopted the stage name Loren, which would become synonymous with her talent and beauty. Loren's early films, such as The Gold of Naples and Two Nights with Cleopatra, showcased her acting abilities and caught the attention of audiences and critics alike. Her sultry and expressive eyes, combined with her undeniable charisma, made her a standout star in the Italian film industry. As Lauren's career continued to flourish, she began to take on more challenging roles that required her to showcase her range as an actress. In Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, she played three different characters, each with their unique personalities and challenges. Lauren's versatility and talent were on full display, earning her critical acclaim and solidifying her status as a rising star. Despite her success, Lauren remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to work hard, taking on roles that allowed her to grow and evolve as an actress. Through her talent, dedication, and the guidance of Carlo Pani, Sophia Lauren became one of the most celebrated and admired actresses of her time. In conclusion, Sophia Lauren's rise to stardom in the mid-1950s was a result of her undeniable talent, hard work, and the influence of film producer Carlo Ponti. By adopting the stage name Lauren and taking on more prominent roles, she was able to showcase her versatility and range as an actress, earning critical acclaim and solidifying her place in the Italian film industry. Sophia Lauren, the legendary Italian actress, is well known for her successful career in film, but her personal life was also quite notable. 
Lauren married Carlo Pani, a film producer who was 22 years her senior. Their love story was not without its complications, however. Due to legal issues with Pani's previous marriage, the couple had to marry twice, once in Mexico in 1957, and then again in a civil ceremony in France in 1966. Their marriage was a lasting one, and together they had two sons, Carlo Pani Jr. and Eduardo Pani. Carlo Jr. followed in his father's footsteps and became a conductor and composer, while Eduardo also went into the film industry as a director and producer. Despite the age difference between Lauren and Pani, their marriage was a strong and loving one, and they remained together until Pani's passing in 27. Lauren's personal life was marked by her love for her husband and family, and her role as a mother and wife was one that she valued deeply. Sofia Loren, born Sofia Villani Siccolone in 1934 in Rome, Italy, began her journey in the film industry at a young age. In 1958, she signed a five-film contract with Paramount, which marked the beginning of her successful career in Hollywood. This contract led to Lauren working alongside some of Hollywood's greatest legends, including Cary Grant in The Pride and The Passion and Houseboat and Clark Gable and it started in Naples. Lauren's talent and captivating presence on screen quickly earned her critical acclaim and a reputation as a formidable actress. She won an Academy Award for Best Actress in 1962 for her role in Two Women, becoming the first actress to win an Oscar for a non-English speaking performance. Her career continued to flourish throughout the 1960s and 70s with notable roles in films such as Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow, Marriage Italian Style and A Special Day. In addition to her work in film, Lauren was also known for her beauty and glamour, being named one of the most beautiful women in the world by various publications. Despite this, she never let her looks overshadow her talent and dedication to her craft. In conclusion, Sophia Lauren's successful career in Hollywood, marked by her contract with Paramount, and her work alongside legends such as Cary Grant and Clark Gable, as well as her Academy Award-winning performance in Two Women, has solidified her place as one of the greatest actresses in film history. In 1961, Sophia Loren achieved a groundbreaking milestone in her career. She became the first actress to win an Academy Award for a performance in a foreign language film, specifically for her role in the Italian movie Two Women. This recognition marked a significant moment in the history of cinema as it highlighted the global reach and artistic value of non-English language films. Two Women is a powerful and poignant drama set during World War II, focusing on the harrowing journey of a mother and her daughter trying to survive the horrors of the war. Lauren's portrayal of Cicera, a strong-willed and resilient woman, was widely praised for its emotional depth and authenticity. Her performance transcended language barriers and left a lasting impact on audiences and critics alike. The Academy Award win was a hard-fought victory with Lauren competing against other notable actresses such as Audrey Hepburn for Breakfast at Tiffany's and Natalie Wood for Splendor in the Grass. Lauren's victory was a testament to her exceptional talent and marked a turning point in her career, further solidifying her status as an international star. To this day, Sophia Lauren's Oscar win for Two Women remains a significant achievement, paving the way for future foreign language performances to gain recognition and acclaim in the film industry. Sofia Loren, born Sofia Villani Siccolone in 1934, was one of the most popular and enduring actresses of the 1960s. She began her film career in Italy in the late 1950s and quickly gained international fame for her beauty and talent. Throughout the 1960s, Loren starred in a number of successful films that showcased her versatility as an actress. One of her most popular films from this decade was Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, in which she played a playful and seductive woman who uses her charms to help her husband. The film was a huge success and earned Lauren her first Academy Award for Best Actress. In addition to her work in Italian cinema, Lauren also appeared in several Hollywood productions during the 1960s. One of her most notable roles from this period was in the film A Countess from Hong Kong, which was directed by Charlie Chaplin and co-starred Marlon Brando. In the film, Lauren played a Russian countess who falls in love with an American diplomat, despite the fact that she is already married. The role was a challenging one for Lauren, as she had to speak English with a Russian accent and act opposite the formidable Brando. However, she rose to the occasion and delivered a strong performance that was praised by critics. Despite the challenges she faced during the 1960s, Lauren continued to enjoy great success as an actress. She became known for her striking beauty, her powerful screen presence, and her ability to bring depth 
and complexity to her characters. Her work in films like Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, and A Countess from Hong Kong helped to solidify her status as one of the leading actresses of her generation. Sophia Loren's later career was marked by significant roles, a published autobiography, and ventures into business. In 1984, she received an honorary Academy Award for her lifetime achievements in cinema. She continued to act in films such as Grumpier Old Men and Nine, even contributing to movies directed by her son, Eduardo Pani. In 1980, Sophia Loren released her autobiography, Sophia Living and Loving Her Own Story. The book offered an intimate look into her personal life and career. Additionally, Lauren expanded her brand by launching her own perfume and eyewear lines. Her fragrance, Sophia Lauren, was first introduced in 27, and her eyewear collection followed in 2011. Sophia Lauren's career has spanned over six decades, with her work leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. She has remained active in the industry, showcasing her enduring talent and appeal. Through her autobiography and business ventures, Lauren has given fans a deeper understanding of her life and style. Her contributions to cinema and her ongoing work in the industry continue to be celebrated and appreciated. Sophia Loren, the legendary Italian actress, has had an illustrious career that has spanned over six decades. In 1991, she was honored with an Academy Honorary Award for her outstanding contributions to the world of cinema. This prestigious award recognized her lifelong dedication and the significant impact she had made in the industry. However, Lauren's career has not been without its challenges. In 1999, she filed a lawsuit against 79 websites that had posted altered nude images of her. This legal action demonstrated her commitment to protecting her image and privacy, highlighting the importance of respecting individuals' rights in the digital age. Throughout her career, Sophia Lauren has captivated audiences with her undeniable talent and grace. Her contributions to cinema are still celebrated today, and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors around the world. Despite the ups and downs of her career, Lauren has remained a powerful force in the industry, leaving an indelible mark on the world of film. Sophia Lauren, as of 2021, lives in Switzerland, where she continues to be an active figure in the film industry. She is widely celebrated for her talent and beauty, which have remained captivating over the years. Lauren's career has spanned several decades, and she has made a significant impact in the world of cinema. Born in Rome, Italy, in 1934, Sophia Lauren grew up in poverty during World War II. Despite the challenging circumstances, she pursued her passion for acting and began her career in the Italian film industry in the early 1950s. Lauren's breakout role came in 1957 when she starred in the film Boy on a Dolphin. This role catapulted her to international stardom and established her as a leading actress in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Sophia Loren has appeared in numerous films, including Two Women, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress in 1962. She has worked with some of the most renowned directors and actors of her time, including Vittorio De Sica, Marlon Brando, and Cary Grant. Lauren's ability to portray complex characters and her versatility as an actress have earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. In addition to her work in film, Sophia Lauren has also made significant contributions to charity. She has been a goodwill ambassador for the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization since 1999 and has worked tirelessly to promote awareness about hunger and poverty. Despite being in her late 80s, Sophia Lauren remains active in the film industry. In recent years, she has appeared in several films, including Nine and The Life Ahead, which was released in 2020. Lauren's enduring beauty and talent continue to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Sophia Lauren's impact on the film industry is undeniable. Her talent, versatility, and beauty have left an indelible mark on cinema history. She has transcended generations and remains a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. Lauren's ability to portray complex characters and her commitment to charity have solidified her place as a true icon of the film industry. In conclusion, Sophia Lauren, 